All right, so we're Bellevue East. My name is Colleen Glenn. I'm a senior. I'm Skye. I'm Jocelyn. I'm Kaylee. And this is our poem. My father was a figment of my imagination, a smoky figure on the horizon, his face a distant memory just beyond my reach. Mom is gone. She might as well be dead. She is to me. Lorena's all I got, but she isn't around much, selling herself to save my soul, and Mary Jane and her friends become my confidants. So little Alice fell down the hole, bumped her head, and bruised her soul. Perfectly straight winds, lines of white snow dusting the countertops, leaving this black and white to dream in color, escaping this world for the favor of one of my own. A wondrous land where everything is nonsense. Nothing is what it should be because everything is what it isn't. Nonsense, nonsense is, is the, the only, only thing, thing that makes sense, sense anymore. anymore. So I sit upon here on the kitchen floor, staring at the clock, watching the painted white rabbit chase the minutes. So lost in time, you lose sight of it all, stare too long, and it's your mind that'll fall, falling down, 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 till you can't fall no more. That's when you find yourself at my door. Is this my life now, waking up in strange places? Watchful eyes, patiently waiting in the dark, having no idea where life will take me. So I run, getting nowhere. Everyone and everything seems to be in such a rush now. I used to take my time to sit and smell the flowers. I miss the girl I was, but I can't go back to yesterday, because I was a different person then. What happened to me? Was it my misplaced father, my absent mother, a sister too busy putting food on the table to raise me? Did the world not care so much I had to search for a new one? Where do I go now? Every adventure requires a first step. With each step I take, a memory resounds in my head like some forgotten song, which I don't know the words to, you ever know, as vivid as day. I recall the last time I saw my mother. She was drunk as a washed-up sailor. I was as high as a kite. She was angry about something. I don't remember what. She stormed into my room, yelling, her words buzzing in my ear, angry little bees seeing anything, anything to take away the pain inside of her. The whole my father left, not thinking about what she was saying, not caring about the wounds she was inflicting. If you don't think, then you shouldn't talk. I screamed, I hated her, that I'd wish she was dead, that she'd leave, that she wouldn't come back. She, she still, still hasn't. hasn't. And that door she left open, let the demons in that torment me. Seduce, Seduce me, hurt me, me love me. me. Tears are simply the raindrops from the storm raging inside. Laying down on a park bench, please stop. Stop this cascade of memories, halt these thoughts from me surfacing. I am tired. The little girl just could not sleep because her thoughts were way too deep. Her mind has gone out for a stroll and has fallen down a rabbit hole. The laughter echoes in my mind. I bite my thumb to keep from screaming at it. A grand ball of misfit toys, broken and used, and I'm the queen, raining from my park bench, painting the roses red with my blood. Wonders and madness. Welcome home. And passing through the ghostly subject is a woman in red. Flamingos hanging from her ears, her face familiar like I've seen it in some dream. She leans in to wipe the tears from my eyes and whispers. My Alice, it seems you have lost your head. <laughs>